Well, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Hope you're having a great day. And don't forget to give us a like and a share. Hey, this week, we've been talking all week about the gift of prophecy in the Bible. And I want to give you one scripture to kind of help tie it all together. It's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. And it says this, that God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. And you know what? Satan is the God of confusion. Satan is the God of chaos and disorder and rebellion. And so when I judge spiritual matters, one of the things I'm looking for is, is it producing peace and life and faith? Or is it producing confusion, anxiety, and fear? And it's not just, I don't just apply that to spiritual gifts. I look at, you know, when I'm preaching a message, I want to make sure that as I'm sharing the faith of Jesus, that I'm doing so in a way that produces the peace of God. Now, I'm not talking about a, a, a fleshly, carnal, good feeling like you would get if you eat a, your favorite food. But I'm talking about a peace that comes from knowing Jesus Christ and that it supersedes everything on this earth. That even if you were to be persecuted or go through a very difficult and horrible time, you are still going to have the peace of God in your heart that guards you from the calamity of this world. And so I want to conclude this week by teaching you the nature of God is to bring peace, not confusion. And when it comes to spiritual gifts, if you've been around things or maybe you've watched an internet prophecy, and at the end of that prophecy, you feel confused or you feel fear or you feel just this something's not right in your gut, you just don't have peace, I would discount the value of that prophecy. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's not of God. But if it brings peace and there's just this thing on the inside of you that says, yes, it bears witness with my spirit, then maybe that is a word from you for you. So that's how I want to conclude today. God is the author of peace. God bless you. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.